so recently there was an interview between Hillary Clinton and Chimamanda Adichie over an issue, a uh, definition of women. Hillary felt from her conversation that being a wife, well, she actually posted in her, in her bio that being a wife and mom supersedes uh, being other things, while Chimamanda felt otherwise. So we ask you, what are your thoughts on the conversation between Chimamanda and um, Hillary Clinton? I need to be twisted, yes. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. It, it, there was we, an interview, you know, like she was asking, Chimamanda was asking um, Hillary Clinton many questions during the interview. Yeah. And one of the questions she asked was, how come on your Twitter profile, bio, profile yeah. you mentioned wife, mother, grandmother before any other of what you represent? That isn't it wrong for you to, publish, to, to define yourself based on being a wife and a mother and a grandmother? Now, Hillary didn't take any issue with the question she just answered that she and she, she didn't have any she didn't take any offense with it she answered the question explaining that no she she, pre, she she values her role as a mother and all that but then we nigerians on social media decided to um fight for the cause of women who are married <laughs> and are proud to be wives and children by saying that Chimamada is carrying being a feminist overboard that what she making it look like why can't somebody post being a wife on her profile doesn't mean that she's been like and, and Toko, please let me um, just to make it even more clear. Hillary actually said after that question was asked, and after Chimamanda explained to her, she says, you know, because of that, I'll I go would, back yeah. to my bio and I'll change it. Yeah. But so, I think the, the real the real direction was what should define try, we're, try, we're really trying to educate women and expose them to options because the truth is that we have been trained with the same mindset that what makes you is being a wife, being a mother. A woman doesn't really have an identity anymore, aside from just being a wife and mother. So I guess where Chimamanda Chima was coming from was, it's being reinforced by somebody like a Hillary. Maybe not intentional, because mm -hmm. they're trying to let, let, let young women know out there that you can be a person first. There's nothing wrong with you being a wife or mother, but remember to be a person. That's how I saw it. Which is why people were attacking her, that you're making it look like being a wife, being a mother, being a grandmother isn't a big deal. Now, the, the sentiment is inferred in most of all this from what was being said. No, nothing they said was going to make it look like they were pushy feminism and all that. It was just inferment of the fact that he, um, uh, Chimamanda was making it look like you as a, you were a candidate to be the president. You were a first, you were, you've occupied, you were a senator, but in your bio, the first thing is wife, okay. then mother and for, grandmother. Okay. That is what, okay. weakening so what you represent. Okay, what, okay, let me let Okay, like for me, for me, first of all, um, I mean, it's a Twitter bio is just really a Twitter bio. You can put whatever it is that you want. For loving. But yes, so that is not important. It does not necessarily mean that what you put first supersedes, you know, whatever. But what is most important for me is that there was a very intelligent conversation that happened during that interview. And, what and like done? most things that happen in Nigeria, will take one thing that seems really inconsequential and make it the biggest deal of the whole conversation. Right. They had so much to say about women, how um, the role that Hillary has played, mm -hmm. especially for women who are, you know, in politics and different, and also in her marriage and how she had lived with um, Clinton, even after all the, the issues that they had. So for me, I went away with that. But concerning this particular issue, I think that um, I can understand the um, back and forth that's going on social media, which is, well, Chimamanda, you represent women having choices. A woman is supposed to be independent. Who she wants to be yes, so she should be first who she wants to be. So there's really no problem yeah, with a woman to you ladies, being. Yes. Going by what you say that, does that Hillary writing wife first, does it reinforce what they've been teaching us from day one? That we try to act as if it's not so, there. Yes, so naturally, we are proud to be wives first. And that but is we act as if, oh, we want to be all independent and the career woman. That is but in reality, we really want to be wife first. No, that is where we act, I, I was actually going. What she was asking Hillary was that, see, I followed you all your life. Right. You're like my role model. Right. Everything you have done, you know. And here you are, you know, you put wife. Was this to humanize you? Because you know, there's always been a problem with um, Hillary and being likable or not being likable. Being too strict. Yeah, so she was asking, is it a campaign? Was it a campaign strategy strategy to humanize you? Because you've stood for so many things that has got people talking about you. You know, you've stood for so, mu um, so many things that helped this feminist movement. So how come now you now 
put that all aside and then put why first. Let me, but she's saying that, you know, she didn't really think about it. Okay, let me come to um, Jumakia on this. What are your thoughts? I mean, we, we, we know Nigerians shy away from this feminist movement and everybody wants, nobody wants to say, I'm a feminist. But the conversation, as you said, Hillary didn't really pay much attention yeah, to this to conversation, her. but it's the people that are now saying, is, is Chimamanda pushing, well, she, is she pushing the feminist agenda or is, she, is there a real... A reality, is there a realness in this being a wife, mother, and uh, first she before Amanda anything else? has a bestseller called Everyone Should Be a Feminist. Mm -hmm. I'm a feminist and I'm very proud to be one. And what feminism means to me does not mean that a husband and a wife are equal in their house. It is that a man born by a woman is equal to a woman born by a woman in the world mm -hmm. in whatever we decide to do. Why there's an issue with Chimamanda was because she said, I was upset. Because mm. as an interviewer, if she just asked, so as a potential first lady and strongest woman in the world, why did you choose to put wife first? Yes. It would just have been a question and answer and would right, have moved on. Right. But once she mentioned upset, Sets. then women, so women who are only wives had an issue with that. Why would you be upset that somebody chose to address herself as, as a, a wife. wife first? Why is that a problem? Before every other thing. Now, Hillary Clinton's bio is not just a bio. She's not Jumoke. She's Hillary Clinton. There are several millions of people who would go to that bio. And they're looking up to her. And so if they think that the most important thing to her okay. is that she's a wife, they may then say to themselves, okay, maybe I should leave this my career first. Maybe me too, self, I should settle as your wife before I pursue other things, mm. you know. So that's what the question really was about. So because get... Chimamanda said, I then went to Bill Clinton's bio and it didn't say husband. Yes. Mm. It said chairperson of, a, of the um, right. Bill Clinton Foundation. Right. So if it was that you had wife, he had husband, then we'll know that so, it's a family affair. So we're a product of our culture, culture is it, is it You are born culture? in Nigeria. No, you no, are no, born no. in Southwest Nigeria. For you, eating pig is normal. If you're born in the North, eating pig is strange. I don't care. So it's based on your culture, what you're used to. Here, being a mother is a big deal. Being a wife is a big deal. That's our culture scape. Pause but for a second, for, just pause for a second. I'm, 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 I'm scared of using that statement because I actually think it's almost natural no, for no, a woman no, 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 no. automatically, regardless no, of where no, she's born. No, in the it, is, it isn't, it isn't, it isn't. No, okay. no, 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 no. There are people born in the Western world right. who, in their mind, it never occurred to them that not being married is a problem at all. Um, Nobody would even ask them because their society, everybody, there are many single people that live their entire life without being right. asked about being getting married. Right. So we are part of our so, so society. Right. Tim Amanda's um, question. question, and I don't agree with the fact that being a mother or being a wife is not enough. I feel that the drive for feminism is weakening the family institution. Now, I like Jumoke defining our own feminism. Everybody is defining their own feminism. The point is, Tim Amanda's to say that every woman, should, everybody should be feminist, fe feminist is already defining what our feminist is about, which is being a wife and a mother shouldn't define you. That's what she said, that she was upset that the first thing she saw on um, Hillary Clinton's bio was that it was, she was a wife and a mother. Well, You've done many other things. The, you you well, should be bigger than being a wife and a mother. So you now see women who have managed to raise good children, who have a good home, feeling discontent with themselves that they haven't achieved in life because they have not done what we see as being a successful human being. Mm -hmm. What your goal is, is what you should fight for. Okay. Yeah, your goal is, I want to be a good wife. wife. I want to make my husband the most happy husband. That will make me happy. That, should be that can be somebody's goal, and it is okay. Okay, she right. shouldn't be made to okay, feel like she's okay. less of a human being because she wants to survive being a wife. Okay, right. I, I, I get your point, which is, is is a valid point, but I do not think that was what Amanda was asking. Okay. Exactly, and I'm happy that she asked that question so we can have this discussion. It is you. important, really, that we have 
that you know that as women so we are able to no, she's she was disappointed it's like anything now if you have a role model mm. even is it j just a singer you know and like okay this is the singer that's supposed to be the baddest kid and then he does something like ah no this is not the kind of singer yeah, i was we, following people disappointed because, because we don't speak about exactly, it. exactly so when you have you have this is someone that is a role model mm. you have pastors that are role model and then when they do something a little different even though they are not related to you in your home you're feeling you're feeling pain, like ah, why would he we do that? To that? So that point. is why she was upset. Yeah. But that question. exactly, but, but that is not. My question very well. Okay. Let me let me let me try to construct my question. For Hillary mm. to subconsciously, even without knowing, put wife because she didn't. She was saying that she didn't even pay attention to it. Mm. My question is, is it that we are bringing this feminist movement to the fore when in reality the innermost desire is just to really be a wife and, and a I mother? And I answered by saying that. Our innermost desire is shaped by where we grow. That's just a cultural skip. The innermost desire of me like as, a grow Yoruba, up in eh, eh, as a Yoruba girl. But Moray is asking the same question that Chimamanda has asked, asked Hillary. And she is sad. She which is, is no bright, but she loves being. If you follow Hillary's track record, at every point in time, she was pursuing a goal. While she was a wife, she got married early. She was still a lawyer. She worked her life fully living out her dreams, even while being a good, supportive wife and, and a mother. great mother. So the point is, why would you not feel bad if she said, I want to celebrate the fact that I'm a wife, First. a mother, and a grandmother? Why would you be disappointed in that statement? Why would you be shocked by somebody being different? We can't all be the same. Okay, let, let, let's go on a break. Unfortunately, we can't continue this conversation. But let us take a break. When we come back, we'll take another angle. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back to your view. So, unfortunately, our guests couldn't be here, so we're going to continue our conversation. So, so Jumoke, you're going to address the that innate desire for innate, a woman to um, be. I mean, yeah. I don't know what your innate desire is, Mariah. <laughs> Maybe it's just to be a wife first, and then every other be thing. A housewife. Every other thing will follow. <laughs> but um, Chimamanda answered in her um, response. response, saying that the question was really that any woman would have that question on their mind. And she needed to ask the question as an interviewer. Why? That they may just have packaged Hillary Clinton for the elections and wanted her to appeal to all the people who believe that a woman first a must be a wife and a mother before anything else. Because everyone knows that she was successful in the Senate as the Secretary of State. Yes. You know, she was successful as a lawyer. She stood behind her husband. So she was success successful every area of her life. But they wondered, you know, if you think that um, America is not ready for a female president yet. Ah, this one, she's a wife also. She's a mother also. Mm -hmm. And feminists are saying that it's commonplace for a woman to be a wife and a mother, it's a natural rule. There's not a big deal there. But in every human being, be you male or female, God has put in a potential. You are not just a woman. Okay, let's take, let's, let, let me hinge on that, but because, we're, you see, we're trying to change the narrative. I mean, because, I mean, the bigger picture is helping young people to have options. Because I have, I, I have a problem with the fact that a young girl, she's 17, she's 18, she's thinking, oh, I'm done, and I get married, I'm going yes. to... That's all that's in her head. No desire. When I was Nothing her age, else. I'm thinking of how I'm going to spend like three months in one country and go there, go, you know? But she's just thinking, I want to settle down, I want to settle down. Yes. So it, it, it's really changing that narrative of who do you want to be first? God bless so, you. Though Hillary puts it there without thinking about it, but a young person will see... That a woman wants to be more than a wife. wife. And and I can, I can be more. I'm more. I'm happy you asked me for it. there non deliberately. We all know I followed the American, and I had to stop watching CNN for a while because I felt like I was too, I was becoming Americanized with my, with the politics. She was being perceived as too focused, too strong, too hard, too not hard. Not likable. Not likable, not friendly, not relatable. So there, there was a Conceive a, a, a deliberate attempt to make show the other parts of her. Okay. So and you know, I think it is okay because my issue is with the fact that we're making it look like one is not enough and one is more, one is more important. Okay. We, they, everything can work together. All right. Okay. I'm happy you brought about the 17 year old. I remember as a teenager, my mom and I were talking. I do not know what she was talking about, but you know how mothers will talk about marriages and things like that. And I said to her, I said, Mommy, you know what will make me very sad? that someday I'll be 40 and all I am is a banker with three children mm. and a husband. 
She was like, eh? Do you know that that is what people go to church to pray for? <laughs> that when they are 40, that they have three children. I just knew from when I was that young that I wanted, wanted to be more. Yes, being a wife and a mother is absolutely important and it's so good, it feels so good. But there's more to me than that. I want to, you know, I want to make a difference. And I want, and I'm happy that Chima, I keep saying I'm happy that she asked that question so that young people elsewhere can know that it's not really that you can, you cannot be every, you know, you have to first be a wife and a mother. That is a natural role. You take on that role if you want to. Any woman and can, you can be a also, wife. And you can also be many other things. And even if you're not a wife and a mother, right. it does not make you any less, uh, okay. you know, Person, Thank you for driving us to things. that angle. But let me take this call first. Morning, are you there? From Kaduna? Yes, I'm here. Hi, thanks for calling. Go ahead, please. I think uh, my opinion on this is that as my role model, one of my role models is Michelle Obama. Okay. And yes, I'm there. Good morning. Oh, no. No issue. Yes, what I want to make is this. My role model is somebody like Michelle Obama. And when she became first lady, the first thing she said is my role is mother in chief. Mm. And I think what um, Hillary Clinton was trying to explain is that you can be an executive, you can be a governor, you can be a senator, but at the same time, you can be a mother and a wife and be the best mother and be the best wife. Fantastic. And I think that is what most of our youth today don't understand. They believe that if you are a wife and a mother, and you won't be an executive or a governor. Yeah. And that's can not be many true. Things. And okay. I think it should be made to understand that you can be both. Okay, and thank you very much. Yeah. So talking about both, because the truth is that we need, we, we have to, we have to balance these things yeah. because we don't want the home fronts to suffer either. Yes. Because yes. then you have bad leaders in future, yes. bad broken homes, and yes. people who become armed robbers. So you, we, no matter how high up you go out there, you have to ensure that you balance it. Right. So is it that balance? We were asking that we, we need to find. This thing yesterday, I mentioned the fact that I said somebody can live out our life. Maybe have four kids, mm. and for every time those children go out by the virtue of what they represent they will say you were well your mother has done a good job on you that is that that is being a mother nobody questions the husband being a banker or being all that the father were even questioning questioning why how you can find the balance is a problem nobody is asking a man how do you find the balance between being a husband and being the president of their of america because or we, being natural, we, we believe that we take it for granted that a man will find a way to make it work mm -hmm. i think we should get to that point where we believe okay. that women will find a way to make it work where you can fulfill your purpose right. beyond what the society expects you to be okay. or not to All be right. All right. and still be yes, successful. Okay. I'll take um, many more tweets, but these two tweets represent both angles. Mm -hmm. John Jibogu says, as a father of two growing young teenage girls, a woman should first be who they are and every other thing second. They should be independent, rise in their professional career and be the best they can be. And every other thing is secondary, but never to be tied to the aprons of any man. Exactly. Mayor Wee says, being a wife, is the most important role in a woman's life. So every woman should be proud of her role. Let me take this call from Babatun and I'll come back to you. Babatun, are you there? Thanks for calling. Good morning. Morning. Go ahead, please. Yeah, um, Babatun. Yes, go ahead. And I'm from Sri I would like to appreciate you guys. The more, every day I see you, you, you ladies there, I can see you are contributing your quota to the development of uh, this uh, country. And I appreciate, I appreciate you very much. Thank you, Bawasane. I want to comment on two issues. The first issue is on the democratic stance on the, the right of Nigerian Senate. We have to uphold them. We have to take them serious. They are the real embodiment of uh, uh, democracy because they are gathered there for the major interest of Nigerians, not for individual interests, Whatever they say, they have the power. Democracy is built around them. Right. We must not relegate them. Okay. They can summon anybody. Even the president at the each day, they have the power right. to remove him. Okay, yes. Because they are given their power. All right. They must be respected at all costs. Mm -hmm. If they invite an IG, he has no option than to respect them. Okay. By respecting them, is respecting the people of Nigeria. Right. Point yes. taken. Secondly, okay. right. I want to comment on the wide wife issues right mm -hmm. for every woman you must respect your household your husband being a wife is the most paramount responsibility of any woman on this earth everything follows you can become anything 
he can become the, 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 the president of the world. But you must respect your home. Point taken, Baba Tune. Point. Please, That's the narrative please. that is out there. Yeah. I want to see, please. are we dispelling this please. narrative? No, no, we are upholding this narrative. I have been supporting being a wife and being a mother, so I think I'm in the best role to explain this. <laughs> we have somebody called Mother Teresa. She didn't get married. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Whatever you choose to do, do it with everything you have. If you decide to get married, be the best wife and mother you can be. If you, if you decide to match it with being an executive in any office, be the best you can be at it. If you don't want to get married, if you don't want to have children, as a woman, you are a human being. Your first responsibility is as a human being to choose where you want to go, so, what you want to do. So, and if you choose to be a wife, be a good one. If you choose not to be a wife, so, you are still okay. Fantastic. So that's the narrative we're trying to get people to see and understand and appreciate. But let me take this call from George. George, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Go ahead, please. Morning. Go ahead, George. Morning. Go ahead. Morning. Yeah. Um, <laughs> today's topic is quite interesting. Okay. I, uh, the way I see it, I, I think that, you know, the role of a mother is very important. Just very true. Very, very true. The role of a father is important. I think we should equate it in some way. True. You know. True. Um, I think if, if we're saying that women should see their role as a mother and wife first, men should also see their role as fathers and husbands. You know, they should put first. it first. You know, it's important because okay. this, this, you know, neglect of these rules has cost society a lot. Very true. If we look Children if we look raised by American mothers society, alone. We have a lot of, you know, broken marriages which has resulted in producing men and women mm. broken. who are not complete in themselves. Right. Good. You know. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, you know, very, very much. much. You know what? I'll come to very much. Let me just finish up with Jumake. Okay. Yes. So, um, why are we discussing this issue at all? Because at the end of the day, when you make your personal decision, nobody can change it. Yeah. The reason we're we're talking about it is when you make something look like the most important thing in the world. Everyone wants to aspire to that. Mm. That's how culture is brought about is what the society says is the most important thing sure. oh women go and sit down there was a time uh, men weren't educating their daughters at all mm -hmm. because they believe that maybe you are going to end up in somebody's house Kitchen. so we're now saying that don't make it seem like wife is the most important thing like ceo shouldn't be the most important thing even for a man because you need to raise responsible children if you are married. Now, why we had this culture in those days before civilization was because the men are physically stronger. They were the ones that went out. And the women were the ones who stayed back home. Right. Now, that culture has evolved. Right. Both of them are now going out. Why do you then make it seem like it's okay for the man not to be a husband first, but it's still most important for the wife to be a okay. wife first. Let's Allow see. everyone decide what they want to do. But in your decision, you must yes. ensure that you're also putting in consideration the future. Both have the children you cannot raise. Okay, let's go on a break. When we come back, we'll start with Mariam. Stay yes, with us, we'll be right back. Welcome back to your Thanks for staying with us. So, Mariam, you're going to say something? Yes, I was going to say this. I said um, one of the reasons we're also having the, um, Chimamada ask those questions was also Hillary's likability. And I'm asking the question, is it that we find it difficult to like a woman? A powerful has, woman. Yes, a powerful woman. We find it harder to accept a powerful woman because what the, the thing is, she did not say she's not a wife or a mother. She has said all those things. And still, people find it difficult so, to like Oprah, and um, as I said Oprah, Hillary. Hillary. But if we compare her to someone like Oprah, who isn't married and who doesn't have children, she's not a wife, she's not a mother, but she's also done so much and she has likability. I'm saying, so I'm saying the difference different. between Hillary and Oprah is that 
Hillary has power. Hillary has taken Oprah. positions. People say that the reason, the, the, the reason one minute, that Obama please, won was because about, of Oprah. Okay, yes. So, but yes, yeah, like I keep making about Hillary has taken up positions that men who have, you know, men would want men. to be there. Men have, de you know, have not dared to take up, and she has done so many things. So, is it what makes a woman? Is that why the we question a woman and say, oh, okay, you know, you are too powerful to be right. feminine, to be or feminine, feminine to be woman? Let me take this call from Bimbo. Bimbo, are you there? Thanks for calling, Bimbo. Good morning. Go ahead, please. Okay, I want to state this. On Obama's profile, right? He's, he's just he's he's husband. Dad, a husband, mm -hmm. president, and citizen. Yes. Are you going to upset about that? No. no. He's, that's his Nobody. choice, yes. Are you yes, telling me that No. Hillary has been successful all through her life as yeah, a exactly. mother, a wife, a senator, a secretary of state, and she still shares his successful in all. Whichever conference does not even define her. Exactly. Why should you be upset for so see, I am not even married, mm. so don't it's not even like I'm saying a wife or whatever. Right. Why I'm saying whatever defines another person must not upset you. Uh, uh, yeah. life. Obama is we a agree. As okay. anybody complains, you see yeah, we... a father second is right. a president fault right. and a citizen fault. Fantastic. Does you, that define him? You Thank you very much, with, your with Obama's with Obama's um profile, profile mm. right? Obama is a feminist. That's what they say. Do you remember the book? Everyone should be a feminist. Yeah. So if you people are having issues with women being wives, okay, me, I am a husband. Do you mm. understand? Mm. Trying to change the narrative yeah. that everyone can decide to be who they are. Yeah. But now, see, my, my, issue, my, my issue is this, right? The reason the feminists would say, um, although all of us have a choice, right? If we keep on this narrative of when you want to define yourself, mm. you make it seem like eh, because you are married is the most important thing. Some girls with, maybe they ought to be scientists. Maybe they are the ones to find the cure for AIDS. As they are now leaving secondary school and they see that the most important thing to the most powerful woman in the world is to be a wife, maybe she will now follow one boy. Aha. So the, mo Pause. the, the mm -hmm. most Point important taken. thing yeah. is to be a human being. Okay. And to be a human being is to live out every potential you have within you. Part of the potential of a woman is to have children and get married. It is part of your potential. It is not all, all that you your are. potential. Let me take this call from Italy. it is not the most Italy. important of what you have, but it is part of what you are. Yeah. You can have to make it the most important right. for you. Let me take this call from Italy. Morning, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Good Thanks morning. Thanks for calling. Go ahead. And your co-host. Yes, go okay, ahead. I just want to be part of this program. Yes. I love what you guys, uh, what you guys are doing over there. Mm -hmm. uh, this question of, uh, this issue of the thing right now, I think is a thing of choice. Mm -hmm. You can yes. become a wife, be whatever you want to be. That will be settled. I just want to keep you something again here, please. Permit me. Like what is going on in the country today? Like what the Senate did yesterday? I know a lot of people is against it. No. Let the IG go and explain what is happening, the security problem in the country. Like, let me go back to what uh, the interview of Hillary Clinton. Here in the Western world, you have a choice to get married or not. Mm. What happens when you say to your parents and they will not be objected to it? They do, they lead you the way you want to live your life. So what are the interview there? So it's, 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 have our own right to so put first, wife, husband, or whatever you want to put. It's the same thing. The okay. husband should also have right to so do whatever right. you want to do. It's not mm -hmm. a big deal. It's yeah. choice. Thank right. you very much, God Day, for your points. Let's take some tweets, please. Gaff George says, if a female is very respectful and hardworking, she's the woman. Being a wife and a mother does not supersede other achievements. Mori Tala Omotaya says, women, feminists in quotes, of these days are all confused. Even the panelists are just going back and forth on whether to be a wife first. Remove your husband's name and bear your father's name now. Why are you mm -hmm. using your husband's <laughs> name? <laughs> and is there even any need for a man in your lives? <sighs> Aluko says, I believe Chimamanda is just a bitter woman who ah. wants to push her feminism in every woman's neck. I don't see how Hilary's bio is a problem. 
Go and check Obama's bio and see it for yourself. Okay. Ismail Sadiq says, a successful woman is always a successful woman and mother. Likewise, a failed woman is a failed wife. No certificates can correct that. Uh -huh. Salako says, a woman is someone who is loving, caring, and who sacrifices her time, energy for her family. Women are great. All right, so, thank you. Well, well, uh, the, the aim, and you've clarified it over and over again, is to ensure that those people have options. They can see that you don't need to be a wife, you don't need to be a mother, you don't need to be any boxed perception. Anybody's definition you don't need yeah. to be anybody. You can just be you, as in choose what you want to be, <coughs> and you can succeed at it. Now, the caller was mentioning the fact that over there you can walk up to your parents and say, I don't want to get married. I, okay, I want to pursue sciences. In Nigeria, we have very few people, even as men, pursuing these areas of interest. You can be what you want to be, okay, but be, be sure you are making your choice right. by yourself. Pointing, yes. Good. And for me, what is most important, I know a lot of people have read this interview and all they've taken out is being upset. Please, if you're a young girl out there, take out the upset, put it aside, read this whole entire interview. There's so much you can learn from it about who you can be. You can be a wife, you can be mother, you can be the president of Nigeria, you can be everything and anything that you want to be. So that's what I would like for so, you to So, Olu Akpelumi Joy um, puts a nail on the discussion for me. She says, purpose for existence and fulfillment of it is most important. But if you are getting married and have children, I think those roles need to come first because who you are in the inside determines the outside. Fantastic. Whatever your choice, ensure that it is your own choice. You make the and best of it. it. If you decide you want to be a scientist first before you marry, do. Do not um, think that because somebody thinks that something is what is most important to them, it must be most important. important. To you. to you do you be you because at the end of the day you live with yourself Simple. not others and i think we can also round up the fact that when i was also younger i was i was i was happy to have people who wanted to push me to do more Exposure. the idea of marriage didn't enter my head until i entered nigeria well my mother says ah, Martin Dagba. my brother never mentioned it my, my brother's wife never mentioned it, it was all about it's where are you going to what how you can you do yours. expose yourself Open, read new, read new books, books. Do, yes. do stuff. I never don't entered my system TV. until watch I entered the system when I just, my, my mother kept bug, bugging me that you get, it's getting little. Yeah, I started thinking of marriage. <laughs> so please, young girls out there, let us be objective when you're looking at this interview. Mm -hmm. Go and look at the interview again. As yeah. Miriam said, you can learn a lot. Leave the, she doesn't want you to be a wife part. Learn, take the meat from that interview. Yeah. Yeah. We're really proud married, of Chimamanda. We are extremely proud Chimamanda of Chimamanda is pr she's married though. Yes. So when they say feminist, feminist, she's a happy wife. All right. Leave Unfortunately, story. that's can be all, all we can take <laughs> on this show today. I hope you learned a lot as a much as lot, we did. Yeah. Have a fabulous weekend. I will see you on Monday.